Welcome to International Securities Exchange's podcast series. Facilitated by renowned educators, ISE podcasts are intended to teach beginning as well as seasoned investors the ins and outs of trading. To find an updated list of podcasts, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts. Please be sure to listen to our important message following this episode regarding the risks of investing in exchange-traded options. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. This is Eleni Levine from the ISC. Uh, I'm actually um, taking over for Steve Meisinger, our Director of Education for um, for the ISC, and we work closely together in organizing um, the FX Options webinar series. So thank you again for joining us. Uh, we're excited uh, to have with us Steve Nisik from the Online Trading Academy. Steve is an instructor, um, and he's been and a trader for over uh, 15 years with broad-based experience in equities, futures, forex, and options. He's also um, licensed in commo as a commodities broker and as well as um, a securities broker. And um, in the past, he was the assistant head trader for the R&J Financial Hedge Fund. And he spent uh, several years at, on the Chicago Board of Trade as a currency tra a strategist. He's also been quoted on, on several leading publications, including Active Trader, and, um, and has been the face of trading uh, in a recent issue of that publication. So I'm going to turn it over to Steve. Um, let me know if there's any problems in sound or... Hello? Okay, um, check, one, two, three. Everybody here okay? All right, good. William says okay, good. Um, thanks very much, Eileen. Um, hi, everybody, and uh, thanks for attending this afternoon. Um, I have a presentation here today on option hedging strategies, again, for the Forex market. Um, for anybody that's attended any of the sessions that I've done, uh, including the one I nearly did last time I was on because we had some technical difficulties, um, I pretty much came on early in July with our first uh, presentation, and I um, did uh, a series on planning trades. And basically here at the Online Trading Academy, that's what we like to do. We like to have everybody plan our trades. And I'm going to try to, let's see here, advance our presentation. Okay. Hmm, I don't see that little arrow to advance the slides here. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see, if you're still there, Eleni, did you uh, turn it over so that I can actually have the presentation? It doesn't seem like it wants to work. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can make it a little bigger, smaller here. Okay, that should be the right size, right? All right. Okay, good. All right, we're good here. All right, so here's our disclaimer, guys. Every time we do one of these presentations, of course, we do have to um, go through the material here. Uh, options involve risk and not suitable for everybody. 
So if you could take a little time in reading this little disclaimer here. All right. Good. And a little bit about ISC FX options. Um, they are very, very nice. They are accessible right through your options or stock broker. Exchange listed securities, cash settled in U.S. dollars, European style exercise. And they can be traded as spreads. And the, the pairs that we're going to look at today are the Australian dollar, which is, um, of course, the dollar in the numerator on every one of these pairs, which is the inverse of the typical Forex market. So AUX for Australian dollar, BPX for the British pound, CDD for the dollar versus the Canadian, um, EUI for the dollar versus the euro, SFC, which is one of the newer ones, along with AUX for the... Uh, dollar versus the Swiss franc and YUK for the dollar versus the Japanese yen. Okay. So hedging strategies based on both fundamentals and technicals. So when we teach classes at the Online Trading Academy, we cover both fundamental material and technicals. And the reason we cover both is because fundamentals will tell us what an asset should be valued at based on various valuation metrics. That applies to any type of market that we're trading, stocks, bonds, futures, options, forex. Okay? Of course, we're trading currencies, which means that we're talking about trading economies of the countries of the world. So we also look at our charts, though, and use technical analysis to kind of cover the emotions of the traders who trade these various financial products from all over the world. Uh, for example, you can look at a chart of a stock that's dual listed on both the Hang Seng Index and the uh, Shanghai Stock Indexes, and the stock will be a Chinese company, and fundamentally, it'll be the same fundamentals. It'll be the absolute same company. But if you to look at the charts of the companies, sometimes you'd be surprised that the charts don't look anything familiar at all. So emotions um, are something that you can see on charts which, of course, you can't really see when you're looking at uh, fundamentals alone. Um, since we're talking about fundamentals, let's start off with talking about something called the economic cycle, also known as the business cycle. And the business cycle or economic cycle has four stages. Um, we go from expansion to where our economy will rise. After a while, we reach a place called a peak where the economy tops out. Um, then we begin a declining period, like we're pretty much going through right now, called a contraction, and the economy activity declines. And eventually, though, the economy will reach some kind of a bottom called a trough. And pretty much um, the economy is in a decline right now, and with all the bad news we've had lately, all the news is uh, pretty sour. And um, eventually, though, what will end up happening, even though we are declining like we are, we will reach a point where the economy will base out and uh, the whole cycle will repeat itself again. Thank you for listening to our podcast. To find more podcasts on options, stocks, alternative markets, and market data, please visit www.isc.com slash podcasts.